some on down there. And then we're gonna do a right angle back up on the left. Okay, now it's telling us to put it in reverse. Look at that, steering wheel turning all by itself. You can see the, the backup camera and the steering wheel. Uh, it's, it's running the throttle itself. You have to apply the brake. Okay, now it's telling us to go into drive. So, the, um, John does have his foot on the brake to, to run that but the vehicle will automatically tell you when to stop. You can see the parking sensors on the driver's information center lighting up. It tells you to stop, gives you haptic feedback on your seat. Now it's adjusting the steering wheel again to get you lined up. And you can just slight adjustments. There's that haptic feedback again. And then you apply the brake. And then you have successfully uh, done a uh, right angle backup. All right, so we are going to do a automatic parallel park, and we're going to fit between this uh, truck and trailer and this car in front of us. So we activated the, uh, the parking system, turned on the right signal, and it is currently searching for a spot for us to park. Now, I went a little early because it since there was a spot back there, but we will um, keep going forward here and see if it picks up the next open spot. Yep, there it goes, recalculating. Okay. So same kind of instructions, tells you to reverse, keep your foot on the brake. So you're you're governing how fast the car moves. There it goes, I'm gonna back up a little bit. There goes the wheel. You can kind of see the backup camera. And the wheel at the same time there. Oh boy, wow. That is incredible. It brings you, especially with a big vehicle like this, that is such a nice system to have because it brings you really close in. Turns the wheel, tells you to shift to drive, and then makes the final adjustment. Now, for all those driver's ed kids out there, unfortunately, you cannot use this on the test. But for the rest of us, we can have fun with it. Mm -hmm.